In this short tutorial, we are going to use the Socioeconomic Data and Applications Center of NASA in order to download the global earthquake hazard frequency and distribution data and then get them inside of our GIS software. Open your local browser and then type global earthquake hazard frequency and distribution. You will get a bunch of websites. We are going to click on this website. You will be directed to this page. It's the Socioeconomic Data and Applications Center of NASA. Or you can simply click on the link under the description below in order to get directly to this website. You can read all the information about this data on this page. But for our case, we are more interested to get this data in our GIS software. So in order to do this, I'm going to click on data download. You will get this page. It's from here that we are going to download our data as an ASCII format. So now just click on this here link. You will be redirected to this earth data login. So here in order to download the earthquake data, we need to enter our username and our password. In case you don't have an earth data account, you can simply click register. Then you must enter your username, password and password confirmation and other simple information in order to create your account and then click on register for earth data login. After creating your account, just enter your username and your password and then you will be able to download this data. After entering your username and your password and click on login, you will get this page where you can specify where you want to save your data. Just choose your work folder and then click on save. At the end of the download, you will get this zip file. Right click on it and then click on extract here in order to unzip it. You will get another folder, double click on it and you will find your file as a NASCII format. So in order to read this format, we need a GIS software. You can use any GIS software. For my case, I will use ArcGIS. After opening ArcGIS, we will go ahead and import our data. In order to do this, head over to this button, Add Data, and then navigate to where you saved your file and click on, on it. Double click on your file and you click on your ASCII file. Then click on Add. After that, click on Yes. And there we go. We got our earthquake hazard around the globe. The risk of this Earthquakes is ranging from 1 to 10, with 10 them is the maximum risk. Let's go ahead and change the color of our data. You can change the color ramp from here. And we will go ahead with this color. You can also click on invert in order to get the low values with green and the highest values in red. I will click on OK. So this is our earthquake risk hazard distribution. Now we will go ahead and add a base map in order to locate our data. In order to do this, go to this small button next to add data. Click on it and then click on add base map. Let's go with this one for example and then I will click on add. After adding the base map, you can see clearly now that the earthquake risk distribution is all around the globe with the, with the most interesting earthquakes located in Southern America. Southeast Asia. Geologically speaking, those earthquakes are located on major subduction zones of our planet. So I hope that you got some useful information from this tutorial. Like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.